Now being away from home or the workshop often means you don't have access to 220 volt electricity. And many of us still have and use electrically powered tools or find that the batteries on our battery tools are flat. Having an inverter installed in your car basically means you've got 220 volts on the move, but how? Now here I have it set up on the workbench, but the idea is to have it permanently installed in your vehicle. Now this inverter connects directly to a regular 12 volt battery, and this is a 220 volt inverter from Ellie's. Basically, it takes 12 volts from your car battery and converts it to 220 volts in a pure sine wave form. This inverter is able to power appliances with a maximum of 1000 watts and is ideal for running one power tool at a time, charging batteries for cordless tools, charging a laptop or using a printer. You can even run external lighting at a work site for after dark work. And a handy USB plug means you can also charge a cell phone at the same time. Now having a pure sine wave inverter means that the power is a lot cleaner and more stable than a modified sine wave. However, 1000 watts is not enough to run large appliances. Now this inverter is also suitable for caravans and motorhomes. However, the inverter cannot charge a battery. Run the car every now and then to keep the battery charged. The inverter will switch off when the battery reaches approximately 11 volts to avoid draining the battery completely and possibly even burning out the inverter. Now, if you're using this inverter to run a TV, you may get electrical field interference, those horrible lines across the screen. And this can be solved by moving the inverter away from the TV and running an extension cord. Small and lightweight, this inverter will assist you in having 220 volts on the go. Builders has a range of inverters, both for home and portable use, either in-store or online at builders.co.za. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.